If anybody went into superstition, they wasn't going to come out alive. You found unclaimed bodies. You're filming, I ain't talking. Have you heard her voice up here? I have. We are the only people in this ghost town right now. Whoa! 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 Stop! That's upstairs. That's upstairs. That was direct communication. Something in here. There are things in this world that we will never fully understand. Understand. We want answers. We have worked years to build our credibility, our reputation. Working alongside the most renowned professionals in the field, capturing groundbreaking proof of the paranormal. It's working! Whoa. Whoa. I can't give you an explanation. This is our evidence, our ghost adventures. With all the intricate layers of haunting that we're encountering in this town... Aaron, come here. We stopped to do an assessment of what we're dealing with. I think our human eyeballs, our living eyeballs, see this town as it is now. Right. But with when all they... the spirits, there's a whole other Goldfield ghost town that we don't see. In 2012, Jay and Marie Yates investigated the Goldfield Bordello. So we went in there and, you know, we kind of asked for, you know, favors, and, uh... Whoa. Well, well, what kind of favors? Right. Like, what Gummy or sexual or? favors? <laughs> for real? Yeah, we were asking how much for fellatio, right. how much for straight-out sex. Mm -hmm. I was asking for sexual favors. That's awesome. That's cool. Okay, good, good. Continue. So, um, I had walked out of the room, and, and the moment I had walked out of the room, we catch a piece of audio that says, Chase. What device were you using? We were using an electronic voice recorder, so okay. just an audio recorder. Okay. Yeah. Um, and can we hear this? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Wow. Can't tell if it's female or male. Female, definitely female, but raspy. Yeah. Hey, when we were on the bed, you know, Whoa. and everything. Did you say raspy? It sounded like raspy. Because that's what the one lady said that who passed away. Here. That's right. She had a very raspy really? voice, yeah. so it's, it's very distinct. You know, mm -hmm. it's her. That's the Karen voice. During the same investigation, Marie was scratched by an unknown entity. I felt uh, like a burning sensation yeah. on my back. Well, I she moved, it and it made us indicate, like, wait, were you, were you just touched? Right. Yes. And then she's like, oh, my God, like, I think I was scratched. And she pulled up her shirt. That's crazy, because we just heard about the other girl, Bethany, that was also scratched in there. But well, the question is, who's scratching? Who's scratching? 